Look at it. A volcano as large as Missouri. Breathtaking. Breathtaking? John, what about the war? You've got to prevent it. Everyone will die. And the universe will not even notice. We've been through this before, Lori. You argued that human life was more significant than this excellent desolation, and I was not convinced. You attempted to compare the mere uncertainty in your existence with the chaos of the world beneath us. But where are the pinnacles to rival this Olympus? Where are the depths to match those of... Ah, but we near the Valles Marineris. You may see for yourself. It stretches more than 3,000 miles, so that one end knows day while the other endures night. Temperature differences breed shrieking winds that herd oceans of fog along a canyon four miles deep. Does the human heart know chasms so abysmal? Yes, yes, mine, right now. John, you've seen people depressed. Me, when I'm miserable, when I've had too much to drink. Lori, are you all right? Of course not, Blake. That bastard and my mother, they, they pulled a gag on me is what they did. My whole life's a joke. One big, stupid, meaningless, oh shit. I don't think your life is meaningless. Oh no, well, obviously that's what you're going to say because anything I'm stupid enough to believe is true, you just disagree with it and, uh, you don't? No. But listen. You've just been saying life is meaningless, so how can... I changed my mind. But why? Thermodynamic miracles. Events with odds against so astronomical they're effectively impossible, like oxygen spontaneously becoming gold. I long to observe such a thing. And yet in each human coupling, a thousand million sperm vie for a single egg. Multiply those odds by countless generations against the odds of your ancestors being alive, meeting, siring this precise son, that exact daughter, until your mother loves a man she has every reason to hate, and of that union, of the thousand million children competing for fertilization, it was you, only you, that emerged. To distill so specific a form from that chaos of improbability, like turning air to gold, that is the crowning unlikelihood, the thermodynamic miracle. But if me, my birth, if that's a thermodynamic miracle, I mean, you could say that about anybody in the world. Yes, anybody in the world. But the world is so full of people, so crowded with these miracles that they become commonplace. And we forget, I forget. We gaze continually at the world and it grows dull in our perceptions, yet seen from another's vantage point, as if new, it may still take the breath away. Come, dry your eyes, for you are life, rarer than a quark, and unpredictable beyond the dreams of Heisenberg, the clay in which the forces that shape all things leave their fingerprints most clearly. Dry your eyes, and let's go home.